ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ನೌನು ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಓಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಸುರಗುರು ಜಗದೇಕನಾಥ ಭಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸಕಲೋಕ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ತ್ರೈಗುಣ್ಯವರ್ಜಿ ಮಜಂ ವಿಭು ಮಾಧ್ಯಮೀಶು ವಂದೇ ಭವಘ್ನ ಮರಾಸುರ ಸಿದ್ಧ ವಂದ್ಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇ ಓಂ ದೇವ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನತ್ವಾಷ ವಿವರ್ಜಿ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ ಗುರುಶ್ಚಾಗೀತಾ ವಕ್ಷಾಶತ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನತ್ವಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಬೋಧಾನ್ ಗುರುನ ಕುರ್ಮ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಗೀತಾಷ್ಯಾಸಂಗ್ರಹ ಹರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವೀಕ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪದಾರ್ಥ ಶೀತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ವೆರಿ ಕಮಾಂಡ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ನ ಉದ್ವಿಜೇತ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ನೋ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಅಪ್ ಇನ್ ಜಾಯ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಫೇವರೇಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೋ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಫೇವರೇಬಲಿ ನ ಉದ್ವಿಜೇತ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ now here he is repeating right in shloka 15 he says harsha amarsha bhaya udvegai hi mukta and then couple of shlokas down the line he says you know the one who doesn't get unnecessarily excited and the one who doesn't create unnecessary aversion na shochati na kanchati he is repeating that primarily you know just to assert an again to arjuna that as much as we try to take up the sankalpa that you know i will stay away from this no in the social media we tend to see some people who take up this pursuit of spirituality you know one of the very popular nicknames you know dp names for ourselves will be we call ourselves sita prajna you know rutumbara prajna you know all of these things we this these are very nice things to listen you know we tend to you know associate ourselves there but practicing them becomes extremely easy and again the reason being that you know they have what bihi klesha adhikatara like you know there are too many kleshas so long as we are Uh, in this body the kleshas are default we can't really help but you know live with these kleshas so all of these things become easier said than done you know in that context and hence krishna perhaps is repeating again right yona hrishyati now this is very interesting right i mean just just an idea uh, you know come back to the first chapter you know the first name that sanjaya uses to describe krishna is madhava ಮಾಧವ ಪಾಂಡವಶ್ಚೈವ ದಿವ್ಯೌ ಶಂಖೌ ಪ್ರದತ್ ಮಧು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಪೆಕ್ಯುಲಿಯರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಋಷಿಕೇಶ ನಾವು ವಿ ನೋ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಋಷಿಕೇಶ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಋಷಿಕಾಣಾಮ್ ಈಶ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲರ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಡೂ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೃಷ್ಯತಿ ಹೃಷ್ ಹರ್ಷ ದಟ್ ಹರ್ಷ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಹೃಷಿಕ ಋಷಿಕೇಶ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ right the whole purpose of sense sense experience is to seek pleasure right that's the we, 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 we don't normally activate our senses in an in an anticipation to feel otherwise right it's the harsha swabhava is what we would like to see so couple of times immediately after calling him madhava which is the lakshmi pati you know whatever we want to know with that name like you know lakshmi narayana after that because madhava basically lakshmi pati basically means the lord of the prakritika uh you know uh, embodiment right that's the madhava now soon after that sanjaya calls him rishikesha you know pancha janyam rishikesho the first sound that comes from krishna is coming from his rishikesha roopa right now uh, look at the uh, the unfolding of the events in the first chapter right first chapter somebody looks at the way kauravas begin the army it is time for jumping up in joy like right? duryodhana is losing his head left right center like right? you know the way he jumps off his seat from the chariot you know comes to uh, dronacharya and starts lamenting about the kind of situation that he is facing despite being possessing the bigger army right he has 11 akshoheni sainyas compared to the seven from the pandavas despite that fact you know uh, duryodhana is losing it left right center so a normal situation for a person from the pandava side looking at that you know they should be jumping up in joy oh ha, you know well begun is half half won right that's the kind of a line we tend to use you know well begun very very well begun right so but controlling the rishika controlling the harsha swabhava na rishyati 
twice he says you know rushi kesham tada vakyam idamaha mahipate sena yodhayor madhye ratham sthapayame chata couple of times immediately krishna is been referred in the first chapter one of the first names and then that name rishi kesha has been carried forward till some point in the second chapter repeatedly sanjaya uses the word rishi kesha because he is the one who completely controls the senses now completing completely controlling the senses one of the primary things about controlling senses is our ability to stay away from the harsha swabhava don't get excited unnecessary excited because excitement is like when we spoke about the harsha amarsha bhaya udvega right the four kshetras of the you know klesha kleshas you know they develop in four different ways like you know uh, vichinna tanu you know klipta uh, uh, you know and uh, udara right? these are the four different states in which the uh, so harsha amarsha bhaya udvega when we say senses one of the primary uh, fallacies in sense experiences is our our unnecessary urge of getting a tendency to get excited we tend to get excited right the seeding is always done like you know we, we you know when we want to go for a movie we have a loaded expectation about the movie because the trailer always is made better than the movie like that 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 excitement that harsha like you know that is what then leads to the dejection you know, when we want to get married you know we we load ourselves with a lot of this excitement this will happen that will happen you know suddenly when we join a new job you know this will happen with this new job you know this increased salary better manager you know better brand name all of in everything excitement is the first seeding of the problem then comes the dvesha then comes the bhaya then comes the udvega you know the way the kleshas play out and that's the reason perhaps also why the na hrishyati you know harsha amarsha bhayat utmukta you know that that thing coming twice is perhaps an indication from krishna that these are not easy and it's very important to overcome that na hrishyati kind of a state you know is very very important because the more we get excited about anything you know the bigger the fall right in in wherever so perhaps he is also indicating towards that rishikesha is indicating towards that yo na harshyati na dveshti na shochati na kankshati doesn't cry doesn't have any expectation kankshana akanksha there is no akanksha and shochati shochati is perhaps when we study the bhagavad gita one way of looking at the bhagavad gita is the entire discourse is between two lines of don't cry don't cry you know don't cry uh, don't panic right that's a there's a famous line called don't panic uh, from this book called the hitchhiker's guide to galaxy that's the first chapter right don't panic don't cry like you know don't weep uh, you know second chapter it begins with ashochyan anvashochastvam you know prajna vadan chabhashase you know nanu shochanti panditah the wise men don't cry that's one of the first messages that come na na shochati and then even the last you know uh, sarva dharman parityajya ya mamekam sharanam vraja aham tvam sarva paapebhya moksha ishyami ma shuchah don't cry right don't cry is is a repeat message that comes you know at one point in time in the second chapter also you know nanu shochitu marhasi you know naivam shochitu marhasi natvam shochitu marhasi don't cry don't cry don't cry you don't deserve to cry like this you know because of this you don't deserve to cry you know one big theme of the entire bhagavad gita is don't cry so don't get excited na krishyati don't get averse like you know na dveshti don't cry na shochati na kamchati don't have any expectation shubha ashubha parityagi no parityaga of the ashubha is okay we understand why do we need to give up the ashubha sankalpa right uh, uh, what is the re- reason behind giving up the shubha parityaga shubha when we when we go behind shubha kara you know, what is this right for me ye na shreyo hum apnu ya when you constantly you know have that craving towards what is right for me what so we have to be in the flow at the end of the day when we attach ourselves in dharma we have to give up that weight of expectation from anywhere else so shubha ashubha parityaga primarily means that you know we are not worried really about anything other than offering ourselves completely to the bhagavan whether good thing happens out of it 
like like in today's society many people are constantly worried about will i get mukti will i get mukti will i get mukti the more we stay attached to mukti 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 where are we getting liberated we are still attached attached to something so attach you no know, give up all types of attachment you no know, in that context perhaps krishna is telling shubha ashubha parityagi don't even be bothered about the shubha ashubha kind of a conundrum and when we look at properly right it's the it's a shubha ashubha kind of a conundrum which is basically the the uh, step for mukti when we look at closely the bhagavad gita wherever he uses the word mukti it is basically between this extremes the conundrums between harsha amarsha bhaya udvegaihi mukta that's basically shubha shubha mukta right uh in the beginning of the fourth chapter at somewhere in the middle of the fourth chapter he says you know uh you know uh, you know, na, you know kim karma kim karme iti you know, kavayo pyatra mohitah tatte karma pravakshyami yajnatva mokshase ashubhat so you will become freed from ashubha shubha kind of a conundrum you will become freed from ashubha very similar thing he says in the ninth chapter you know idam tate guhyatamam pravakshyam yanasu yave jnanam vijnana sahitam yajnatva mokshase ashubhat our mukti is primarily from the ashubhatva and ashubhatva the and then he explains that in the ninth chapter shubha shubha palairevam mokshase karma bandhanai that that entire mukti from ashubhatva is also mukti essentially from that constant jugglery that we keep having in the mind is this shubha is this ashubha is this right is this wrong is this dharma is this adharma we have to stay aligned in the path of the bhagavan and let the swabhava flow and then keep constantly trying to put ourselves in the sattvika path and nobody need to be told what is the sattva right uh, what is good fetus and what is not you know even a child knows that right when a very, very small child also knows what is sattvika right so shubha ashubha parityaga is essentially that mukta mukta swabhava that kind of a bhakti man yaha sah me priya that kind of a bhakta is extremely dear to me right this is where we stopped it seems like no questions or maybe the questions will materialize uh, better when we see little more of this uh, chapter this is a very beautiful chapter so with that uh, i think we can conclude for the day today uh, on the reverse count of 3 uh, those of you keen interested you can please join us on the stage in the small jai ghosti in the name of our geeta acharya bhagavan shri krishna when we conclude this room at the reverse count of 3 3 2 1 namaste vasudevaya preyasame priyottama समस्त गुण संपूर्ण निर्दोषानंददायिने मुकोपि यत्प्रसादेन मुकुंदशय नायते राजराजायते रिक्तो राघवेन्द्रम तमाश्रये भारती रमण मुख्य प्राणान तरत श्री गोपाल कृष्ण प्रियतां श्री कृष्णार्पणमस्तु हैव अ ब्यूटीफुल वीक एवरीवन जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री कृष्ण is a beautiful jeevo bhedah sada shivah jeevo devah sorry not bhedah jeevo devah sada shivah beautiful <laughs> jai shri krishna let's meet next saturday